another giant batch of refugees are heading to New York City. Mayor Adams has already admitted defeat. The white flag has been flown. But they still keep coming. Right now we're looking at about 10,000 per week. But he has a new plan. He is going to solve the migrant crisis. All right. Quick background summary for those of you who haven't been following this story. Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, California, all the southern states have been dealing with migrants. Well, let's not sugarcoat it. They're invaders. They are an invading horde sucking up every resource they can get their hands on. And the southern states have been dealing with this for decades. Now, some years it's better. But the last three years, it's been the worst it has ever been. New York proudly declared itself a refugee sanctuary city. Well, because they're 2,000 miles away, and they had no fear of ever having to deal with the problem. But a strange thing happened recently. The southern states finally grew a backbone, and after getting a giant middle finger from Biden, they decided a busload of newly arrived invaders should be sent directly to the sanctuary city they were so proud of. There's nothing more anti-American than what he's displaying right now. Mayor Eric Adams blasting Texas Governor Greg Abbott for busing potentially thousands of asylum seekers to the city with no coordination. I don't think anything is more anti-American uh, than shipping people on a bus, 45-hour trip, uh, without any of the basic needs that they have a direction or coordination. 14 migrants arrived at the Port Authority bus terminal on Sunday, joining the 54 who arrived on Friday. Officials expected 40 people to be on the bus on Sunday, but some appeared to exit early. What also was extremely revealing yesterday is that there were some who wanted to go to other uh, cities where they have families, and they just packed them on a bus without any direction. Well, New York proudly accepted the invaders. They gave them a hotel room, free food, rolled out the red carpet. New York City proudly proclaimed that anyone against unlimited migration was a racist. So as expected, the southern states started giving them all the invaders they claimed they wanted. ruh -roh. They called the bluff. New York City is now being besieged with precious invaders they claimed that they wanted. All the hotels are full, parking lots are full, the subways are full, bus stations are full. They are completely full. And Mayor Adams has publicly stated they, the migrants, are going to destroy New York City. Started with a madman down in Texas, decided he wanted to bust people up to New York City. 110,000 migrants. We have to feed, clothe, house, educate the children, wash their laundry sheets, give them everything they need, health care. And this team here, we stated, let's do everything possible before we have to push it out into neighborhoods and communities. Month after month, I stood up and I said, this is going to come to a neighborhood near you. Well, we're here. We're here. We're getting no support on this national crisis. And we're receiving no support. And let me tell you something, New Yorkers. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to? I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. He's right. But it's too late. They're already here. The Trojan horse is behind the city walls and it's pouring out enemy soldiers as fast as possible. Now, it's like a clown car. Maybe that would actually be a better analogy. But fear not, good citizens of New York. Mayor Adams has a plan, and they will deal with all the migrants, and everything is going to get back to normal. 
He's got a six-point plan, but it basically boils down to build more affordable houses and build them immediately. You can just throw the old rule book right out the window. So these new houses are going to come from some un unusual places. Up to five stories of apartments above laundromats and bodegas. You can build up now. More development around transit stations. One and two family homes to convert basements, attics, and garages. Eliminate the need for new buildings to include parking spaces. Well, yeah, migrants don't have cars. Allow larger builds if they include affordable homes. Oh, yeah, I gotta stack them and pack them, those low rent housing. Easier conversions of offices to apartments. Well, yeah, now that you can work from home, all these office buildings are empty. Gotta make it real easy to turn them into apartments. When I said throw the rule book away, I meant it. Remember how hard it was to build something in New York? Endless paperwork, zoning, red tape. Not for the migrants. They don't have to follow rules. You remember that. That's called foreshadowing. Now, this may be a good plan, but I have a few questions, and I'm wondering why the actual citizens of New York aren't hanging him from a street lamp for this treasonous, hateful, anti-New York policy. So you mean to tell me he had the power to address the sky-high rent prices, the housing shortages, the slumlord apartments? He had the power this whole time? He didn't care about New Yorkers at all. But when a few migrants show up, then it becomes a problem that he needs to deal with. As I see it, New Yorkers are worthless trash. But migrants, they need special policies so they can be treated with dignity. New Yorkers, complete scum. Invading army, they're given preferential treatment and treated like a visiting dignitary, according to Mayor Adams. Hey, New Yorkers, why aren't you flipping out? There should be riots in the street. Hold up, I'm not calling for riots. But I would understand if they happened. New Yorkers love to riot, uh, protest, riot, protest. I, don't, I can't tell the difference. They shut down the city for that subway psychopath. But uh, this is way more important. All right, get back to this plan. The goal is to build 100,000 new homes as fast as possible. Here's the funny part. It won't work. It won't even scratch the surface of this problem. First. There are over 100,000 actual New Yorkers that would want to claim these new apartments. Second, the invading army doesn't have any money. How are they going to pay for these new accommodations? <laughs> Unless your taxes will be paying for the housing. Hey, New Yorkers, you ready to get mad yet? No? What's it going to take? I thought you guys were tough. Did you go all soft with the flu and sniffles locked down? You're losing your city. Some parts of it are already lost, and your mayor is helping to give it away. Now, some part of me is laughing. I like schadenfreude. You know that word? It's a great word. It means taking pleasure in others' misfortune. You guys voted for this nonsense, so you kind of got what you asked for. But the big reason this plan is never going to work, if... And a big if. If they manage to build another 100,000 homes, there's still a problem. There are already 110,000 new migrants so far this year. If it takes a full year to build 100,000 new homes, which is impossible, by then there'll be over 200,000 new invaders you haven't solved the problem. But what you have done, what you did, is you told the entire world, Hey, everybody, we're building a bunch of new migrant homes. So come to New York. We're ready for more migrants. And suddenly, that projection of 200,000 new invaders might be closer to 500,000. Because you laid out the welcome mat. 
You guys are so screwed, you don't even know it. I'll be watching very far away with a giant steaming hot mug of schadenfreude. It's okay, you got this. So if you like this kind of story, do the like and subscribe thing. I'm having fun making these, but it helps keep me motivated so I can bring another funny, sad story tomorrow.